Hi, hello, how are you today? I hope you are doing wonderful. Before this video starts, i just like to um, point out a couple things. I know everything in the world right now is insane. Times are tough. I know there's a lot of uncertainty, anxiety, and stress. If you can, you know, try to turn someone's day around, try to turn your own day around, just do, do your part. It's times like these where we really need to depend on each other and just um, have love for everybody. I'd also like to mention that in the vlog I talk about not feeling good and being kind of sick. Um, I'm okay. Uh, we're both healthy. It was just a common cold. It it happens. So I just like to point that out. I'm healthy. I'm good. Bailey's healthy. She's good. Yeah, in case anybody was worried. <laughs> going into this trip, I planned out what I was gonna film and had a couple different videos in mind. And I was really excited, but I guess fate had a different plan for me because one thing New York taught me is just how much of a complete and utter pussy I am when it comes to filming in public. Since my heart fell out of my asshole every time I pulled out my camera, I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to. So I'm gonna be going back and forth with this video and the actual footage I got in New York to kind of document my time and keep you up to date with it. Now let us venture back to the day before my trip. First off, I have a vlogging camera. That's my wonderful girlfriend Bailey got me a vlogging camera. It was my birthday. Um, I don't know when this vlog is going out, whenever this video goes out. So as sort of a late birthday celebration, Bailey and I are flying to New York. My best friend Natalie lives in New York. Her birthday is four days after mine. So it's kind of like a joint birthday. Long story short, we leave tomorrow and I haven't packed at all. So my friend Maya is coming over to help me clean and pack and just pretty much give me company in my insanity. Maya literally walked in and was like, do you ever like embody objects? And I was like, sure. And she was like, because today I embody a trash can. <laughs> so like today, I decided I'm gonna be artsy on my way over here. And so I thought of a food and I was like, wow, chocolate covered strawberries and coffee taste good like when you're doing them together. So like, why not combine it? And it tastes like ass because that's garbage. I told you. So that's $8 down the drain. <laughs> so this is my friend Maya. I didn't, I don't Hi. think I gave you a proper introduction earlier. Maya and I love to go thrift shopping. So I guess I'll just start filming again when we're in Goodwill. Maybe, I don't know. That's kind of weird. I feel like we should do it. But we can be We're discreet. probably going to. We can just like chug our white clothes. Yeah, I'm gonna be super discreet. We're definitely gonna do that in a school zone, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get a single one more thing in my hand, my arm's gonna break off. So let's try things on? Yeah. Okay. Update, we're going out. We're going out! I'm gonna get drunk. Happy Monday. <laughs> Later that night. Update. I should probably get off the toilet first, hold on. <laughs> okay, so update, I got drunk. Not a big surprise. We have to pee up in eight hours and we still have to do a load of laundry, still have to pack. I was about to be like, why did we go out? It's because we're stupid. I'm excited for all the shenanigans we're about to get into. Let's get going. Yeah. So we stayed up till 2 a.m. rushing to pack everything and the next morning we were off to the airport. We had a short layover in Atlanta, but once we landed, we learned the flight was delayed seven hours. Instead of wasting time and money at the airport, we decided to venture into Atlanta and waste our time and money there instead. Okay, so update. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm drunk. I know that that's probably... So we had a total of like five hours. People are so fucking loud. We had like a five hour layover, and so we were like, fuck this, we're not gonna stay in the airport. So far, we've been to one bar, one restaurant. I think we're, are we going to another bar? Yeah, we are. The bartender from the first bar poured me like triple shots. So needless to say, I'm pretty fucked up. I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I've never been happier. <laughs> I think that's the motto for my life. Right. So anyways, I guess I'll just update you wherever we go next, and then maybe we'll be in New York. Who knows, maybe we'll stop in Canada. We'll let you know. We didn't stop in Canada, but we did eventually make it to New York. Okay, so good morning. I don't even know like, where to start. It was a rough day. 
<coughs> Please nobody drag me on the way I do my makeup. If you came here for makeup, you're in the wrong place. I talk about throat gonorrhea and taking heroin-based ecstasy from strangers. I'm not a fucking beauty guru. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm sick. It started like two days ago. My throat started really hurting. We're already kind of starting the trip off like to a great start. We're both pretty slow at the moment. It's okay. Yeah. I already gone and explored a little bit. So. Yeah, Bailey um, went this morning when she first woke up and got some coffee and went and got me some medicine. I already got a mixtape from somebody. <laughs> yeah, I'm just running, I'm just running like slow. I just thought I would kind of update you guys because I didn't really do like a, you know, good night thing last night. By the time we got to the hotel, we were so tired. Like 10, 30 or 11 and I was like, I just want to go to sleep. But yeah, I guess I'll just um, update you guys when I have actual clothes on. Woo! <laughs> so after three hours of going back and forth to the bathroom to potentially vomit, we were off to Times Square for about an hour until my UTI pain and my sickness pain mixed together and I thought I was gonna pass out on the Disney store bathroom floor. We went back to the hotel to rest until it was time to meet up with Natalie. Hugging your best friend after being apart is one of the best feelings ever. <laughs> Sorry, Santiago. Hi. <laughs> I'm a mess. So we didn't do anything today because I've been too sick. I have a UTI, I'm not feeling good, so we went to Times Square, we walked to Times Square, and we went into the Disney store, and then I was like, I'm in pain, I have to pee, because of my UTI. I said, that's not the funny part. <laughs> so I sat on the toilet, fucking wanting to die, and I'm texting Bailey, I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I just, like, I don't feel good, I'm, I just don't feel good, and she's like, it's okay, it's okay. Two girls walk in, and one of the girls, like, sits down, I don't know if she had a UTI, but she was in there for a while, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I think, I think they were, like, siblings, um, because one of the girls looked, like, significantly younger. You want to know how I know she looked significantly younger? Because she crawled under the stalls, and, like, I made straight eye contact with her. It's like a little kid, or... Like Probably like 12 on. years old. Yeah, no, like should not. Be. So I'm just sitting there like with my ass out and I'm like what up? <laughs> And I was like, maybe it's my time to get up. So <laughs> then I'm trying to flush the toilet and this bitch doesn't flush. Mind you, like, I have a UTI, so I have, like, azo, which turns your pee, like, orange. And then somebody walks in and I was like, well, shit, I can't just leave it because then they'll come into the stall and think that I'm nasty. <laughs> so I'm, like, freaking out and Bailey is like, so what type of toilet is it? So I send her a picture and she was like, that's a lot of toilet paper. So then I'm like, maybe I can take some of the toilet paper out. So I get like a shit ton of toilet paper and wrap it around my hand. Luckily there was a trash can in the stall okay. with me. And I'm pretty sure that that's the people in the stall the next to me like heard everything that was going on. Like the <laughs> trash can be like, <laughs> And then I just like washed my hands and ran out. Bailey was like, what happened? And I was like, I just, I don't want to talk about it right now. After I shared some more trauma to break the ice, we decided on a place to eat and went out for drinks afterwards. Look how cute my friends are. Then we went home and crashed out early. Well, not like home. We went back to our room. So like we went hotel. The next day, Santiago met us at our hotel and brought us back to his and Natalie's apartment where we met Moo and tried listening to the mixtape Bailey got from a random guy on the street. Unsurprisingly, it didn't work. Santiago took us to see the view from the roof, and I can't remember what we did after that. I either got drunk or went to bed early. Doesn't matter. So, next day. Bailey and I started our day out with a romantic date to the Museum of Sex. Wow. Once again, I didn't film too much, but please enjoy this video of me watching porn and now a cute little montage of the rest of our erotic journey. say the Museum of Sex had a phenomenal gift shop. Like they had the coolest things. <laughs> Stickers, lighters, other sexy souvenirs. They even had sex toys. And I know what you're wondering. Did Bailey and I get a little something something? And the answer is no, because why would I spend a hundred dollars on a cheap dildo? After that we bar hop for a little bit and I officially pissed off my very first New Yorker. Well, that was fun. Yeah, uh, a man got mad at me over avocados. 
Then we met up with Natalie and got ramen. That next day, we really just spent time lounging around and being lazy, but for dinner, we went out to Chinatown for soup dumplings and various baked goods. Sunday was our last pool day. Originally, we had planned to go to this abandoned beach, but Natalie and Santiago weren't feeling too well. However, they insisted we go explore ourselves. I think they were just trying to get rid of me, but... That's okay. Now that I was feeling better and potentially passed my sickness on to Santiago and Natalie, Bailey and I decided to go be tourists. we found ourselves in Brooklyn getting pizza and drinks with my lovely friend Katie. As much as I wish I had gotten footage of that night, I was far too intoxicated to even begin to try to work a camera. Honestly, I'm surprised we even got back to Natalie's in one piece. And without frostbite. It's true what they say, alcohol really does keep you warm. It was 30 degrees out and I was ready to go for a night swim. And God knows how I did it, but I even woke up without a hangover. I love you. Too. I'm sad that my last, your last day here was spent with me yelling at my boss. <laughs> you work for Big Dummy with lots of with money. With lots of money. <laughs> with lots of money. <laughs> and he doesn't pay me much of it. <laughs> I'm going to buy myself new shoes. I have his credit card information. Like I could literally <laughs> to the um, Netherlands. Okay, I also remember that this is on film. <laughs> <laughs> So we hung out a bit longer until it was time to say goodbye. You know, even though a lot of our plans fell through during this trip, it was still pretty great. I got to see my best friend, eat some great food, and visit a beautiful city with my beautiful girlfriend. Like I always say, if you'd like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow my other adventures, my social media links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I know the world is a little crazy right now, but try to remain positive. Stay safe, stay healthy, and until my next video, remember that the universe is on your side.